Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have uh, Robert Jobson's claim that William is jealous of Harry. A strange video that everyone is talking about and a funny card the king received, among other topics tonight. Well, first things first. We need to talk about Robert Jobson saying in the very short and very boring Hulu documentary that Prince William is jealous of Harry's invictus success. He said, and I quote, The invictus is Harry's number one passion project. It has been very successful since its outset. Harry has been able to continue to raise the money, which is impressive, and I think there's a degree of jealousy about how well. I think William is surprised by such success. And the first thing that uh, we can agree on is that Robert Jobson is not someone who we can trust. This comment was made in complete bad faith, and he knew that it was going to have this effect and how many headlines will be generated from this. So this was done on purpose. Harris Gray suit said it well. William was jealous. Yeah, sure. I reckon William was happy they found Harry a project to keep Harry out of pubs and trouble. And Not only that, but remember that William and Catherine donated one million pounds for the Invictus Games back then. So, uh, saying that William is or was jealous of Invictus' success is absurd, to say the least. Claims the royal family were neglectful had been turned on their head after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's uh, Invictus Games Foundation received a one million donation from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. This was back in August 2021. We have to remember that Jobson said two months ago that Harry is a bit of a spoiled brat. Maybe a gift arrived from Montecito to change his mind about the ginger topic. Now, there is a certain amount of gaslighting as well, because Jobson also says the following words about the whale's children. I think, unfortunately for the king, there's really no relationship between the king and his grandchildren because he hasn't really had an opportunity to forge that relationship. Some might say that he should have made more of an effort and reach out to Archie and Lily. I know he spends a lot of time when he gets the chance with William's children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. And I'm sure he'd spend as much time, if he could, if Harry and Meghan were based in England, but they're not. So, I just don't think there is any particular bond between them. Now, it's upsetting enough that he mentions the Wales children by their names, but uses titles for Archie and Lily. But the reason Robert Jobson mentioned the Wales children in the video is to apply pressure on Charles. Because he claims that the king can see George, Charlotte, and Louis almost any time he wants, or, or so Jobson claims. But with Harry's children, there's no such opportunity. But the blame seems to be on the king, as if he's the one who should reunite the family again. Now, I have seen this kind of strategies in other times, and it's pure and simple guilt tripping. It's like saying, oh, you get to enjoy a time with your grandchildren whenever you want, but You haven't allowed Harry an opportunity to bring the kids near you. Well, who can blame him if these two are hardly ever seen with their kids? When was the last time you saw them? Meanwhile, Meghan's uh, publicity blitz continues. Uh, Duchess makes dumplings with a group of female Afghan refugees in California in video released three days after surprise virtual engagement in the UK. The videos have a lot in common with her, that tea brand that she had invested in. But maybe Megan needs to get back the humanitarian tag so people will be remotely interested on her upcoming podcast. And we got some uh, blind gossip regarding that. With her budget being minuscule, the illiterate one is trying to convince people to work for her for free on her new podcast. Now, th this could be a good thing if Meghan allows herself to interview rising stars, because those are the kind of guests who could be benefit for, from the added exposure. But knowing Meghan, she wouldn't have less than triple A guests. So 
I don't know how, how that could work. And it seems that people are in dire need of mysteries and conspiracies to solve because uh, this video was posted yesterday, a video at Buckingham Palace that features three equestrians on two black horses and one white with a flag wrapped in black. And the conspiracy theorists, at least on X, went absolutely bonkers. You are welcome to send your own thoughts about this, but I read explanations such as... Uh, The monarchy was about to end. Something happened to the king. The entire royal family has already fled the country. Uh, Catherine has transcended time and space and became a super being who's going to take us to Alpha Centauri. Or that Harry and Meghan are going to leave the royal family alone. And that's where I draw the line. Because a good conspiracy has to be at least plausible. Speaking of which, we, we got headlines like this. Prince Harry holds crunch talks ahead of potential return to UK with Meghan, Archie, and Lily. I'm going to share with you my theory about this. This does not involve Harry. It is not his decision to make. I mean, but Meghan's. They are going to visit the UK between April or May. Don't tell me how I know. I, I don't know. I'm just making an educated guess. And when they come to the UK... They are finally going to bring the children with them. And they're going to release one photo with age-appropriate children. I mean children that look the age they have by now. The problem is that, once again, the release pictures will look suspicious once again. And then we'll do it only for people to talk about them. Especially now that Megan's popularity in the U.S. is stolen and she has to do Something about that. And pronto, Jack Royston, uh, Meghan Markle's comeback is stalling. The Duchess of Sausages has had a popularity slump in America. Now, there's a word in there that I don't get. Comeback. Comeback from what? It seems that the so-called comeback refers to how they are trying to recover their brand from the impact of Spare one year ago. I don't know. I Didn't they see it coming? That the amount of boring lies was going to destroy whatever interest the public still had on them? And now, since Megan is desperate, she's trying to make the Invictus games about her as well. Because that's the only thing she's got left. So that's why a picture with the kids would help. And a lot. Meanwhile, as J.E. May says, King Charles has received many get well soon messages. And he continues to show He has a good sense of humor. He thanked everyone by showing a sample of the thousands of cards he has received. Charles is a great dog lover and owner, as is Queen Camilla. They would appreciate the sort of humor shown on this card. And the card in question is uh, really funny. It's a small dog. You can see at the bottom. A small dog coming from the vet with a cone on his neck. And he's saying, at least you don't have to wear a cone. And in all cases, the closest thing to a cone is a rough. But it's my understanding that they have fallen out of fashion a while ago. If not, uh, rest assured, I would wear one myself. Not, not the cone, the, the rough. But my rogues, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.